while we believe that these certifications were submitted to justify the 15 million that were allegedly paid to as reward to informers now all the officers from the AFP that includes General Memphin the USEC for administration are stating that the DepEd did not utilize any of its confidential fund in support of the Youth Leadership Summit. These statements, Mr. Chair, are completely contradictory to what DepEd has made the COA believe in the submission of all these certifications. Yes, ma'am. Eh, bakit po kayo nag-issue ng certification kung wala kayong personal knowledge? Nag-certify kayo may 22 Youth Leadership Summit tapos hindi nyo po ito personally nalalaman. Lieutenant Colonel was able to attend only one out of 22 Youth Leadership Summit. And this is okay with COA? I'm sorry, but I do not understand. Out of eight Youth Leadership Summit, ilan po yung na-attendan nyo? I was only able to attend one. So that means that you have no personal knowledge as well I have of all the eight Youth Leadership Summit that happened. Uh, particular, who in DepEd? Ang dami po nila sa DepEd. Minimal expense, you said that? Yes, ma'am. And it will no way reach 15 million. Tama? Mm. Kupong balikan si General Mempin. General, kanina po sabi nyo, <coughs> hindi nyo alam yung confidential fund. Yeah, you still correct. confirm that? That's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chief. But Chair. I hope you understand that the certifications which I confirm from the AFP officers, <coughs> the four of them, pertains to the expenditure of 15 million taken from the confidential fund. And according to them, those certifications were required by you. Mr. Chair, I wish to direct the next question to Lieutenant Sangdaan. I have here a certification which bears your signature, I suppose. This is about the 22 activities for the Youth Leadership Summit and 49 activities for the Information Education Campaign. This was held in the provinces of Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur as well as La Union. Do you confirm this certification? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. And the certification, similar to the one issued by Colonel Buran Singh, is addressed to, to whom it may concern on the upper part and then on the lower part for the commander. For the record, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan, kanino yes. nyo po ba talaga ina-address itong certification? Lieutenant uh, Sangdaan. Uh, DepEd, ma'am. And can you be particular? Sino po sa DepEd? Uh, ma'am, can I just give the background, ma'am? That was the instruction of I, my commander, and according to my commander, it was Major General Mempin who okay. requested. You answered the question already. Yes, ma'am. And similar to the questions which I raised to Colonel Boran Singh, yes, do you have also some documents with you which can provide details about the recipient of this 22 Youth Leadership Summit? Ma'am, right now, ma'am, I don't have the documents because I am no longer with the 5th Infantry Division, ma'am. I'm all, already reassigned to GHQ. But Le I assure you, ma'am, that you can there produce. are documents in you can the produce. Yes, ma'am. Okay. May I just state for the record, Mr. Chair, that Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan committed, manifested his commitment to submit the document about the 22 activities for Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just like what Colonel Boran Singh have said a while ago, ma'am, I think uh, it's much better for the... Yes, Secretary. we will. Yes, we will, Lieutenant Colonel. Yes, what is important, the manifestation of Colonel, uh, Colonel Sangdahan um, for the committee to write a letter, yun po ba yung gusto ninyo? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, the yes, POMSEC sir. is uh, requested to please, is directed to please um, write a letter requesting for the documents as uh, requested by uh, Congresswoman Luistro. Please, please continue, Congresswoman Luistro. But at least, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan, can you name some of those 22 activities? Yung naaalala nyo lang po, because this is quite a lot compared to the one which Colonel Bransing had. He had uh, only eight. You had 22. Um, um, uh, actually, these uh, YLS were conducted by the line units of the 5th Infantry Division, sir. Ma'am, just like the 501st Brigade, the 5th CMO Battalion, and other infantry battalions in the area, ma'am. As to the specific of which, ma'am, uh, hindi ko na ma-remember, ma'am. You, you mentioned which infantry division conducted this? Fifth Infantry Division. San po ba kayo kasama sa fifth po ba? Fifth Infantry Division, ma'am. As a staff of the fifth Infantry Division, ma'am. As as one of the staff of the 5th yes, Infantry yes. Division. But I suppose that since you were the one who certified, you're supposed to have a personal knowledge of what happened. Uh, we base it on, the, on our records, ma'am, on our tabulated you, records. Do you, do you intend to tell us, Lieutenant Colonel, that you were not the one who actually conducted this Youth Leadership Summit? Yes, ma'am. The line units, ma'am, were the one who conducted those activities. If it is not you, then who? The different battalions, ma'am. For example, ma'am, uh, the 77th IB, the 5th CMO Battalion, the... Eh, bakit po kayo ang nag-issue ng certification? We have the tabulated data, ma'am. Yes, I understand. Oh. But for one to be able to issue a certification... Tapat alam nyo. Tapat may knowledge kayo. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this is an inquiry in aid of legislation. You were sworn in before we started the hearing. And this will elevate the status of being a sworn certification already. Yes, ma'am. Eh, bakit po kayo nag ng certification kung wala kayong personal knowledge? Nag-certify kayo. May 22 Youth Leadership Summit, tapos hindi nyo po ito personally nalalaman. Is that what you wanted to say? We have personal knowledge, ma'am, because we have it in our data, ma'am, that the different line units... You are aware of the data only, oh, sir, that our but not of the occurrence. Magkaiba po yun. Ganon din, ma'am, sa occurrence, eh, ma'am. You are that aware of the occurrence as well. Yes, ma'am, that it was really conducted. Okay, balikan po ulit natin yung question ko. Name some of the Youth Leadership Summit that you conducted, if you are aware of the occurrence. Uh, just like in San Mariano, Isabela, ma'am, we have conducted the uh, YLS there. Barangay uh, po iyan? Municipal, ma'am. Municipal. Ang recipient yes, po natin, sino? Sino pong audience nyo doon? Sino uh, pong participants? The youth from the municipality of San Mariano. There were participants from the students in San Mariano. And even out of school youth. Okay. Any yes, other? Any other YLS that you can recall? Uh... As reported by line units, ma'am, also in Baguio City. You are basing your testimony, Lieutenant Colonel, on the report. Tama po ba? Yes, That's what you said. Yes, ma'am. And this will only mean that you are not aware of the occurrence. If the statement that you're giving to us is based on the report and not on the personal knowledge of the occurrence, then you have no personal knowledge of how it happened. I am aware, ma'am, that it You was are really aware of conducted. the data. You yes. are aware that it happened, but you were not personally there. Yes, yes. You did not participate. 
Yes, ma'am. We only provided uh, some speakers as requested by the concerned unit. How about this 22 that you mentioned in your certification? Ito ba na-attendan mo lahat? No, ma'am. Honestly, ma'am, no. Ilan out of 22 ang na-attendan mo, Lieutenant Colonel? I think only in San Mariano, ma'am. Only in San Mariano? Ma'am, can I give a background on... Kawa, may I just make a manifestation? How can you validate an accomplishment report with a certification? The signatory has no personal knowledge of what happened. Lieutenant Colonel was able to attend only one out of 22 Youth Leadership Summit. And this is okay with GOA? I'm sorry, but I do not understand. Colonel Buran Singh, if I may call you again, yun pong walo, ilan ang na-attendan nyo doon? Colonel Buran Singh, Out of eight Youth Leadership Summit, Ilan po yung na-attendan nyo? Colonel Boransing, you're recognized. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. I was only able to attend one. So that means that you have no personal knowledge as well I have of all the eight Youth Leadership Summit that happened? Uh, I have personal knowledge of this, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may explain lang po, uh, the structure of uh, our, my position is I am the G7 of the infantry division so the infantry division has three infantry brigades uh, they control uh, three uh, one has four provinces the other has uh, one province and the other brigade has uh, one province so i am in charge of supervising uh, i am the civil military operations officer uh, mr chair so I closely monitor, we all closely monitor the program of the Youth Leadership Summit uh, to ensure that uh, it, uh, to ensure that it's, it is multi-stakeholder and it fits the objectives of the program. So we have personal knowledge. Uh, we can't go around in each barangay, but uh, they have, uh, since uh, we used uh, uh, budget from the uh, Philippine Army, we have after activity reports, uh, fund utilization reports, pictures and documentations. And uh, we have to ensure this because uh, we have a yearly inspection from higher headquarters. So we may not have been there, but uh, we have uh, personal knowledge. We are the program managers of this book. You mentioned a while ago, Colonel Buran Singh. Yes. You were using the fund of the Philippine Army. Uh, you confirm yes, that? Yes, uh, Mr. Are Chair. Are you sure? Sir. Yes, Mr. Chair. For the eight YLS yes, uh, that Mr. were Chair. conducted, you used the fund of the Philippine Army? For our participants, we used our, uh, the Philippine Army. The, for the students, uh, they used the local government unit funds, uh, Mr. Chair. Okay, that is clear. Mr. Chair, I just wish to manifest the statement of Colonel Buran Singh that during the Youth Leadership Summit, for the military, they are using their military fund, and for the children or the youth, they are using the LGU fund. Uh, to, Mr. Chair, uh, if I may. Please continue. Yes. Uh, they use, uh, since uh, they use the, some use the provincial local government funds, and the municipalities, uh, some delegates also are using the uh, the uh, municipal LGU funds. And for the participants from the other stakeholders, from DepEd, from BIDEA, from the police, of course, they use their uh, own uh, uh, funds. Uh, so it's really a multi-stakeholder. In uh, other words, account. Mr. Chair, a lot of offices and agencies are using their respective funds for intelligence in conducting the Youth Leadership Summit. This is your statement, uh, Colonel Buran Singh. Um, I didn't say uh, uh, intelligence funds, ma'am. Uh, what I said was, uh, like for instance, for their billeting, for the hotel, they have to pay from their own agency funds. 
for their food, they have to pay. Po. What is clear, there are different offices uh, involved who shoulder their respective expenses yes, Mr. for Chair. the purpose of Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, Mr. Chair, yes. In other words, it is not only the DepEd. Yes, Mr. Chair. Who spends its confidential fund? Uh, I'm not. I have no knowledge of what their source of funding is. But in as far as you are concerned, kanya kanyang gastos KKP. ang ibat ibang opisina. Uh, KKP bo. And for the children, the youth, you said it is being shouldered by the LGU. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Colonel. May we request Lieutenant Colonel Panopio? Colonel Panopio, you are recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Colonel, I have with me another certification bearing the signature of Magtanggol Panopio. Is this your signature? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. On this certification, you certified 205 youth students from different schools. Three youth leadership summits held in the provinces of Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, and Zambales. You confirm this? Yes, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. And similar to my question to the to Colonel Buran Singh and the other Lieutenant Colonel, nakalagay po sa certification nyo to whom it may concern to sa taas, sa baba for the commander. Kanino po ba talaga naka-address itong certification nyo? This is addressed to DepEd, ma'am. May I explain for the commander, ma'am? And can you please kindly be particular? Who in DepEd? Ang dami po nila sa DepEd. Sino po sa DepEd ang kausap nyo when you submitted this certification? Yusek uh, Nolasco Mempin, ma'am. That's Yusek Mempin. Okay. And can you please substantiate as well the three youth leadership summit that you conducted in your province? Ikaw ba nakaparticipate dito? Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, hindi po kami nagparticipate specifically because as a staff, we are just supervising and monitoring the activities of the Youth Leadership Summit. So because. similar to Colonel Buran Singh, you are just aware of the occurrence, but you were not part of the event. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. And with respect to the expenditures for similar programs, would you confirm the statement of Colonel Buran Singh yes, na Your ang Honor. mga opisinang participants ay kanya-kanya ng gastos? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. And with respect to the participating children and students there at. Tama po ba yung sinabi ni Colonel Boransing, LGU, ang sumusuporta sa expenses nila? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. Are you sure? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. Can we recall Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan? Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant Colonel, tanungin ko lang po yung pagdating sa expenditure. Do you confirm the statement of Colonel Buran Singh? Kanya-kanya ng gastos lahat ng opisina? Yes, ma'am. Oh, no, no. Yes, ma'am. And with respect to the children and the youth, it is the LGU the who LG... support the expenses? Yes, ma'am, through their PAPS plan, ma'am. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I am done with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Panopio. I wish to proceed to Major Dome Dombrige. Major Dombrige. Major Dombriding, you are uh, recognized. Have you taken your oath, Major? Kapag take na bukin out. Okay, pa. Major, meron po kayo ditong ano, uh, submission prepared by you, certified by Lieutenant Colonel Panopio. This is about the joint 
7th Infantry Division DepEd Anti-Insurgency Campaign from January 1, 2023 to December 31, 2023. Do you confirm, Major, na ang sinertify niyo po dito ay 313 insurgency awareness and 9,000, no, and 166 posted social media products. Dr. Uh, yes, ma'am, uh, Mr. Chair. Through uh, the, that, that uh, data was based on uh, the reports of our uh, line units. Ang kasama po dito, Brigada Escuela, Insurgency Awareness, Environmental Protection, Shared and Posted Social Media Products, and then you also have Number of Health-Related Activities. Ang dami po nito, Major. Tanong, saan po nang gagaling yung pondong ginagamit nyo for all of this? Ma'am, uh, most of that funds was uh, under the uh, POPs on the APB of our line units. Ano po yung POPs? Please enlighten us. Projects, activities, and programs po. And can you please tell us which agency is this? Uh, in particular, ma'am, is the Philippine Army in collaborations with uh, our uh, partner stakeholders on the ground. In other words, similar to the statement of the three prior officers, yung mga activities nyo, ang gumagastos is the armed forces of the Philippines. Tama po ba? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. And as far as your counterpart is concerned, tama po? Opo, ma'am. At... Uh, Paano nyo po ba ginagawa itong anti-insurgency awareness? Mama, Your Honor, in partnership with uh, the different uh, schools and uh, local government units, our uh, line units is uh, conducting uh, intensified uh, information awareness drives on uh, security, uh, uh, security awareness, ma'am. How about the social media posts? Paano nyo po ba ginagawa to? Utilizing the social media platforms of our uh, infantry divisions and our line units, ma'am. We cross-post uh, social media, media products of uh, the uh, AFP units and uh, to include, ma'am, the uh, uh, other agency uh, social media products. Rough estimate lang po, Major. Sa tingin nyo po itong mga reported activities nyo na to, total of 9,712, the activities I mentioned earlier. If you're aware, mga magkano po ang nagastos na pondo ng AFP dito? But with that uh, figure, the number of uh, anti-insurgency flyers distributed, uh, a very minimal uh, expenses lang po dahil uh, uh, printed uh, flyers lang po ito dun sa, na, with the band paper po. You're saying minimal? Website. You're saying minimal? Minimal expense, you said that? Yes, ma'am. And it will no way reach 15 million. Tama? Hindi po, ma'am. Hindi? Hindi po. No way? No way. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Chair, gusto ko pong balikan si General Mempin. General Mimpin, you are I'm recognized. about to wrap up, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. General, kanina po sabi nyo, <coughs> hindi nyo alam yung confidential fund. Yeah, you still correct. confirm that? That's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. But Chair. But I hope you understand that the certifications <laughs> which I confirm from the AFP officers, <coughs> the four of them, pertains to the expenditure of 15 million taken from the confidential fund. And according to them, those certifications were required by you. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, actually I was uh, asked by the officer of the secretary to ask for certification coming from these uh, uh, units. But uh, it is uh, 
clear uh, to them or even to me that uh, no funds are uh, involved, meaning no funds uh, released to these uh, units. What uh, the Office of the Secretary is wanted to know is the product or uh, the result of uh, the collaboration of various uh, stakeholders, including the Fed with regards to our uh, youth. So it is clear, ma'am, that uh, DepEd has not released any single centavo to the conduct of wireless to the uh, uh, units uh, mentioned, ma'am, Your Honor, and uh, Mr. Chair. If you are saying General Mempin, na walang ni-release na pondo ang DepEd, dito po sa Youth Leadership Summits, Saan po ginastos yung 15 million? Uh, that's your honor, Mr. Chair. That was, uh, I was not uh, aware of it. Because uh, my, the task given to me is just to coordinate because uh, to be candid about it, the commanders of uh, Colonel Buran Singh, uh, Colonel Panopio, and uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan are my former uh, colleagues or classmates in the uh, Philippine Military Academy. Mr. Chair, I wish to ask the COA, Attorney Camora, tama ba ang understanding ko? Sa AOM, may disallowance na 75 million. Out of 75 million, you are asking for supporting documents of the 15 million which were paid as rewards to informers. Attorney Camora, you are recognized. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And in response to that supporting documents, the DepEd submitted these certifications about the Youth Leadership Summit. Tama ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. In other words, these certifications submitted by the AFP officers are being used as justification for the 15 million utilization paid as reward to informers. Tama po ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. General Mempin, your statement is completely contradictory to the stand and position of COA. Uh, your Honor, Mr. Chair, as uh, I uh, previously mentioned, the only task given to me is to coordinate to my uh, colleagues in the active service of the uh, Philippine Army to have a uh, report on the conduct of uh, Youth Leadership Summit. But uh, as to the utilization or disbursement of uh, 15 million uh, payment to informers, I was not made aware of it. And uh, I have no knowledge that uh, uh, the, this uh, certification is for the payment of informers. Uh, Your Honor and uh, Mr. Chair. General Mimpin, I understand we also have Major General Bahau. You have a letter here, General Bahau. This is about the nine youth leadership summits. Kanino nyo po ito in address? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Chair. May I be recognized? Major General Bahau, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ma'am, I addressed the letter to Yusek Nolasco Mempin, updating him of the wireless conducted in my division then. And uh, similar to the questions that were propounded to the three other AFP officers, kapag huba nagwaway LS kayo, sinong gumagastos? Ma'am, uh, sarisariling agency po na nagpa-participate dito ang gumagastos. Sa amin po, more on facilitation and security, kami po ang gumagastos sa sarili naming mga tropa. And with respect to the children and the youth who are the participants, do you confirm what they said already? LGU ang gumagastos? Yes, ma'am. At kanina po sinabi din ni General Memfin, balikan ko si General Memfin, Sabi niyo po, General, wala talagang gastos ang DepEd dito? Uh, to be clear, because uh, as uh, I was asked if uh, the confidential uh, funds issues for the conduct of uh, YLS, 
So it's clear that uh, no funds is uh, downloaded or given to the Philippine Army for the use of uh, uh, the conduct of uh, wireless. But uh, if uh, uh, confidential fund is uh, given General, to informers. That, that is tantamount to saying na walang gastos ang DepEd sa inyo. When you said that they did not or DepEd did not download any fund to the military. That's, Tama? That's correct. Uh, so, Honor, what you wanted to say, walang ginastos ang DepEd sa taga military when it comes to the Youth Leadership Summit. Do you confirm that? That's uh, I confirm that's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I am very much surprised, but let me wrap up and make this manifestation before I yield to the other members of the committee. While, while we believe that these certifications were submitted to justify the 15 million that were allegedly paid to, as reward to informers, now, all the officers from the AFP, that includes General Memphin, the USEC for administration, are stating that the DepEd did not utilize any of its confidential fund in support of the Youth Leadership Summit. These statements, Mr. Chair, are completely contradictory to what DepEd has made the COA believe in the submission of all these certifications. Mr. Chair, to proceed, let us all be reminded ito pong confidential fund na ito, pera ng taong bayan. We all of us are accountable to the Filipino citizens. Public office is a public trust. We should be accountable to the people at all times. And I do not understand why these people who are supposed to explain the 15 million is totally unaware of the same because they are saying that they never use the debt ed fund and what they use is the fund of the AFP. While we understand, Mr. Chair, that confidential fund by its nature is not encouraged to be scrutinized, there is nothing under the law that prohibits the same as well. There are important observations, Mr. Chair. Number one, among all civilian agencies, DepEd is one of the very few with confidential fund. Two, DepEd had this confidential fund only in 2023 and never in prior time. Three, I hope we can show also that while the DND, which has a mandate to address the national security, has 37 million confidential fund only, the Department of National Defense has 37 million. The DepEd, which mandate does not include national security, has 150 million confidential fund. Mr. Chair, to continue, while the police the AFP officers already denied this YSL, YLS, having been supported by DepEd, 15.54 million po ang amount that the DepEd is trying to justify in making use of the certifications that were submitted by the AFP. Number five, Mr. Chair. Prior to 2016, pag ang pinag-usapan po natin ay Youth Leadership Summit, it is the AFP who leads and they just coordinate with DepEd. But on the report that was given by COA, it seems to appear that the one leading the Youth Leadership Summit is the DepEd in coordination with AFP. Paligtad po ito. Number six, Mr. Chair, I do not want to preempt any conclusion. However, Mr. Chair, 
General Mempin spent 2017 to 2023 of his AFP career in the Vau City and the Vau region. During this time, the former president is the president and our vice president is the mayor. During those time, Mr. Chair, the Vau City, while it is authorized to have and to utilize confidential fund, I believe has one of the highest confidential fund among the LGUs in the entire country. I hope the Secretary can produce the data. I wish to ask Mr. Chair, ito bang lahat ng ito ay coincidences? Given this observation, let us all be reminded that the leeway that is being given to confidential fund is to be able to address a very important concern, and that is national security of the country. No more, no less. The procurement and the liquidation were made liberal in recognition of the significance of the purpose of the confidential fund. However, Mr. Chair, if there are glaring indications of irregularity already, as those that we have mentioned, plus the admission of the AFP, is it not that COA should address its mandate of making sure that all receipts and all expenditures are duly accounted for the Filipino people. Question number one. Since when has irregularity in confidential fund been happening? Two. What has COA done so far with respect to its accounting rules in order to address the irregularity? And three. Will COA simply brush aside these irregularities, especially with the admission of the AFP that they were the one who spent for the 15 million Youth Leadership Summit and not the Department of Education? Let us remember, regardless of which office in the government we belong, public trust, always carries accountability to tone down the mood of our investigation at para mas maintindihan po ako ng mga tao mayroon hong prominent na line sa pelikulang Star Wars ang sabi comes with great power is great responsibility if you translate this to constitutional language let us all be reminded, public office is a public trust. 